All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever Castle Crashes walkthrough that you need to give a crap about. Um, these are the characters. You unlock them by doing stuff. Um, I'm not sure which one I'm going to choose yet. Uh, probably this guy here. I'm going to go for Poopy Assassin, seeing as though that's what my name is based on. This guy, because uh, I initially said he looked like the Assassin's Creed characters, but obviously he has a brown costume on instead of a white costume, so I thought he looked like a Poopy Assassin. Namely, my name on YouTube, or hopefully my name on YouTube, as the Pope steals um, the Chaos Emerald. Hmm. Somehow I think this might be Assassin's Creed ripped off. I mean, I'm not quite sure. By the way, the video is going to be incredibly sped up. Um, sorry if you, you mind about that. Um, it's just because basically the video is very, very slow. And my computer fucked up recording, I guess you could say, and made it really slow. So I had to speed it all up with special effects so now it just looks like my guy's on speed and just keeps like is is somehow welding a spoon at the pace of uh i don't know something that's very quick a ferrari perhaps he's yeah he's swishing that sword like i mean spoon like a fucking ferrari look at him go look at him go i just quite like it and uh, sped up anyway because it looks a lot better and we get things done quicker as well this, this is turned from a 16 minute video into a nine minute video that's how good this is. And it makes me look good as well, because it looks like I'm killing things quicker, which I'm not. This game actually runs pretty quickly anyway. This is pretty much what the game looks like um, at normal speed anyway. It's just fraps and my computer seem to have had an argument and uh, are currently in the stage where they need a honeymoon or something, or they need a trip away from the kids, you know, just to get their relationship back on the, back on the, uh, on the straight and narrow, because, you know, they're, they're obviously very... Uh, very lacking in sex or whatever. They probably just need different partners. Anyway, um, I'm going to the frog to get uh, that, a compass which you need later on in the game. Uh, an animal. Animals just give you kind of bonuses. Um, I found out I don't have the fat chicken yet. I don't know why, but I just go ahead and use Rami, as I like to call him. The guy who, um, he basically, there you go. He said it on that blackboard, I think he said, like, he, he just, like, rams down enemies or something. Um, it's it's incredibly useful, more useful than most other things anyway. And I'm gonna hold and throw out my spoon for the broccoli sword. Broccoli sword cuts through meat like broccoli sword. Um, just because it basically gives you a stat boost on everything. Some swords give you like maybe like six power, but you have to uh, take away some magic. I'd rather not take away any of my uh, stats and just increase all of them. So I use the broccoli sword mostly. Um, and it's pretty good anyway, and it's probably going to make for a lot of jokes as the poopy assassin, broccoli sword, and Rami move on. Rami kind of sounds like a sex toy, but I'm not going to dwell on that. Um, as you level up, for some reason, the king, who has no eyes, I've just noticed, and a hell of a pedo grin, uh, tells you what kind of new stats, uh, new, not new stats, new abilities, um... How you get new magic is basically you level up magic. Which I think I do in a minute when I get the ability to level up. Which I haven't got yet because I haven't leveled up. Yeah, we level up. I think I have just leveled up, by the way. Um, I think I might have lied. I think we leveled up just as we came out of that door. So, um, yeah, I'm a massive lying bell end. Anyway, um, <laughs> these guys don't really stand much chance against me and Rami because Poopy Assassin don't, don't take no crap from... Uh, from these guys, bidding, get a crappy poop, get it, get it, get no, it's it's a poop joke. If you didn't get it, it's a poop joke. Just you know, ask, guess your mum and dad. They'll they'll know. Probably, probably not. I don't know. Ask your younger brother or something. Um. Anyway, as that disemboweled hand told us to go this way, should we shall go this way. Um. No, but this game's incredible. Phone. It's incredibly good looking as well. I've noticed it's probably one of my favorite games, um, ever. Yeah, ever. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it that big of a that big of a report. It's that good. It really is that good. Um there's not many games that compare to this, to be fair. Just for funness in general. Um I do rage a lot at this game by the way later on when it gets a little bit harder <laughs> and I haven't I've maybe not upgraded the right things, I'm I'm probably gonna have to shout a lot. So, um yeah, look forward to that. Look forward to awkward pauses as well and me swearing a lot. I'm probably going to have to dis put a disclaimer at the start of this video saying if you're afraid of scare this afraid of afraid of swearing, you imagine someone's afraid of swearing, like just 
a horror movie would be like a jackass film. <laughs> they just go there and it's just like uh, Steve are going, shit, shit, shit. And I'm like, oh no, stop it. Make it stop. But no. Um, I'm joking. Anyway, um, you're probably wondering why this seems to be so easy, this first bit of the game. It's because it is that easy. Oh, level three, yeah. Um, it really is this easy. Um, everything has next to no health, and you're pretty much... It, you, you're given the Broccoli Sword from level one, so I mean, you're not going to struggle too much. Um, you have to unlock Rami a little bit later on. But as soon as I've already completed the game with the Purple Knight, I have advantages. <laughs> yes, okay, this invalid finger. We're going this way. Oh, look, the first sub boss, or first boss, or whatever you want to call it, of the game. So I can point out the fact that the news ground, Angry Face, is the boss's health bar. Uh, which I've always found pretty cute. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, not cute. I'm, I'm not gay. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. Nothing that I have. Not that I have anything against gay people. They're um, some of the funniest people on the planet are gay. I'm sure. Just haven't met them yet. No, I'm just kidding. Um, by the way, while we're on the sub well, we weren't on the subject of Assassin's Creed, but while we are on the subject, Assassin's Creed Three is the worst game ever made. <laughs> it's so bad, and I'm like a humongous Assassin's Creed fan as well. I've played every game, completed it, got all the trophies, all the chibos, all of it on every single one, and they are just oh, Assassin's Creed Three. They fucked up really bad. I know they tried to do the Civil War thing, but it's not. He's not an assassin. He he just isn't an assassin. I'm sorry, but for people who feel like he's he's like getting a raw deal or whatever, or I'm you know just being a jackass for jackass. I'm not. I just I don't like him. He's just a jackass. I mean, Ezio, you could understand his family died. You know, his family were torn apart, and you wanted to get vindiction for him. You know, you wanted to to like. Uh, I don't know, avenge his family because you felt, you know, like he'd, it hurt him yourself, but, you know, this fucker, you can't relate to it at all. <laughs> Altair I had trouble relating to. He was just a knobhead that you had to try and help get back to power. And Desmond, by the way, Desmond is the worst thing they added, I ever added into the game. They should have just left it out and just had it as the assassins because, I mean, Desmond just is so generic and so bland, it's unbelievable. Uh, from his jeans to that stupid white hoodie he wears. Uh horrible. Anyway, um, onto the bridge. Onto the bridge we go. Poopy Assassin and Rami entering the voyage. Um, in a minute you're going to face the first real boss. There's kind of a sub-boss on each level, kind of, kind of not. Um, that might be a lie, because there isn't really. Um, no, but the idea of the game is basically the mean Pope-looking guy stole the women and the Chaos Emerald and he won't give them back, so as soon as though I'm the only competent knight in the king's entire army, I am the one, for some reason, assigned to kick the shit out of these ginormous steroid-abusing monsters and get back the lovable princesses who seem to give me a kiss, despite the fact I imagine the king, all the king's daughters, you know, might get jealous to the fact that, you know, I've kissed all of them. I've not just kicked one of them, but I mean, you know, I'm a I'm a player. I'm a player. Poopy Assassin's gotta get his uh get his get his gotta get his kitty cat. If you get if you get my drift, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. You imagine if ladies will watch if ladies are watching this, I'm terribly sorry. Anyway, that's the boss beat and um <laughs> you don't get this by the way at the end of every boss. Some bosses you do get a, a shitload of treasure, but um this is probably the one that gives you the most treasure. And at the end of the level, like a proper badass should, you get a kiss from the ginger. Oh, hell yeah. See you later, guys.